Hi everyone, this is Marcia. Welcome to part six of this, what I called originally a new jewelry drawer, but I guess after the sixth video, it's not so new, is it? <laughs> But we are going to finish this up today. Uh, you're seeing necklaces, but really the, the focal is earrings. So we'll get to those in a minute. I hope everyone is doing well today. I hope you all had a good Christmas. It comes, it goes, but let's keep that Christmas spirit in our hearts throughout the new year. And I hope it's a good new year for all of you. So let's get into what's on the mat here. These are the pieces that were in that tangle when I ended last week's video I got them detangled and I'm going to show them to you this first piece so many chains yeah this is the one well one of the ones that caused a lot of the problem one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine ten eleven that seems like a an odd number well it is an odd number but I mean for a necklace to have it in an odd number amount of chains too before. Did I count wrong? Four, six, nope, 11 strands. And it did cause problems. But it is nice and it's in pretty decent shape. But we'll put this off to the side and go on to the next one. This, well, this is not the name brand, but this is a necklace, oh that needs cleaning, has hair. I don't like these. With pearls and the rhinestones. And there's a shadow. Oh well, I'm sorry about that. And here's another pearl one. This is the one that's the name brand. This is Liz and Company. So Liz Claiborne. And this is four strands. Still not, still not cooperating. <laughs> so, again, chain, pearls, and rhinestones, and it all appears to be intact. Might need a little cleaning, but still pretty, pretty look. So we've got two pearl necklaces. Oh no, three pearl necklaces. Here's one from New York. The brand name, NY pretty brown and pink looks like little pink pearls with black beads that's actually kind of cute and then I mentioned this one I think when I was trying to, to to detangle last week this we found two stretch bracelets with this configuration of um, shells on it which I don't have them here but they do match. So we've got that one. And then we have this one. This is very simple, just a chain, C-ring clasp, and a little pendant. I'm guessing older. This is riveted on with a blue center stone. Just plastic, I do believe. And then this one, this is another one that created some problems. It's, it's still being problematic. <laughs> okay, there you go. We got the noodle bead. That's what I call it. It reminds me of a macaroni noodle pasta. And then we have how many layers? Two layers of chain and two of the seed bead with these little paddle pieces. They look like oh come on. They look like matchsticks to me. Okay, well we've got that. And that was the tangle. So Give me a minute, I'm going to put some of the earrings out, and there were a lot of earrings. We're going to start with some clips, and I'll get them out here, and we'll start going through them. Okay, I think these are most of the clip-on earrings. There might, be, there might be some more in the next batch, but this is the, the majority of them. Uh, there were three singles. No, there weren't. I got these messed up. It was one single. <laughs> and it matched. We found a, it wasn't an enhancer. I think it was a slider that matched this. But I could only find the one. But my mistake. These match. You see, these match, but the one is very worn. 
But we have these and are they Monet? You know what, I'm not going to take the time. We have so many earrings. I want to go through them quickly. I'll let you know in the editing. I think this is Monet. Certainly looks like the the little paddle that Monet uses. So I'll put these off to the side to check. And then we have, well, these look like Monet also. I really can't see what that says, but it... There is something on there, so we'll check these as well. Oh, did you see them? <laughs> Very similar. The the swirl, like the knots. Okay, we got those. And another knot style. K-N-O-T. I got a pair of these. They need some cleaning, but they might uh, they might uh, clean up nicely. So we got those. And these, these are pretty. A little green pearl in the center. And no names. Like I said, I'm going to go through them quickly. If there is a name or mark of any kind, I will let you know in the editing. I'll put it in the captions. Okay, now here's a pair of these. They go like this. So these are two-tone. And these, they have that nugget, that gold nugget look. Don't see any any marks on this, and I can't get that to stay open. There we go. And these, and these do have a name on it. Looks like Trafari. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think you can see that. So these are nice, good condition. Don't know how old these are, but they are marked. So, that's nice. And we have these. I don't want to say these are odd, but um, they may be handmade. I'm not sure, but they have... It looks like some type of bird. I don't know if it's a crane or something else, but... Um, a little dirty, they need some cleaning. But interesting, it's just a plastic. Here's another plastic and metal. I guess this is this could be metal. But again, no name. And again, these are all clip-ons. So I've got those. These are cute. Pink half hoops. <laughs> nice. And this is in the style of Trafari. Oh, even Napier. They they all had this look back in the day, maybe 60s, but we have those. And this, this is pretty. I like the gray. Oh, and Stephanie, I've worn your, well, I guess they're mine now, the uh, Druzy, the gray Druzy earrings. I've worn them already. Haven't worn the other ones yet. That's coming up. <laughs> These are pretty. No name that I can see but kind of like a ribbon, ribbon look. All very, very wearable. Let's see, what do we have here? Little gold dangle for these. Cute. And then we have these. Little sequin. Chandelier earrings in purple. I don't see any names on those. And then we have two pair of these. Well, I mean, you can see they're clip ons. I don't think they have any names. This one has a lot of wear compared to that. Well, compared to that, can you see the difference? How much wear is on that? But and this one looks more yellow, even. So, anyway, we got two pair of those. And then we have these. And they have a similar Monet paddle style. I don't see don't see the Monet name on those. So may not be that comfort clothes. But again, when I do the editing, I will let you know. And here's another oh yeah, very similar. Are these Monet? 
I don't see the Monet name, but I know I think Traf um, not Trafari, um, uh, Napier had. There is a name, and I will let you know what it is in the editing. But these have a lot of wear. They might clean up, but I'm not sure. But they're cute. They're very cute little earrings. And these, again. I wonder if I can see it through the camera. I don't know. I don't know. Does that say Monet? I can't see it through the camera, and I'm not going to take the time now. But these are cute. You know? And I'm, I said I wanted to hurry through these, but I wanted you to see how they would sit on the ear like that. Very nice. Oops. Alrighty, got these. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, here's another pair. There are some names on this. There is some writing, I should say. I don't know if it's a name or not, but there is some writing. And it's a, a similar, well, it's kind of like a hammered, textured look. Um, but the, the closure is similar to Monet, but I'm not sure it is. But I'll check and let you know. And these, these are no name, but clip on with the pearl front. Has some wear, but still wearable. And these, gold tone. I don't know if that's supposed to be a simulated amber or um, tortoise shell look. I don't see, I don't see any names. Or do I? Uh, no. I don't think there's anything on there. It's just the, looks like a cartouche that would have a brand name on it, but I don't see any actual writing. And we have these. A lot of wear on these. Yes, a lot of wear. But could always uh, clean them up and they might surprise us. So here's another with that type of paddle. And again, I see some writing, some wear, not sure what brand that is. And we have two pair of these. They're not exact, because there's a slight difference in color and slight difference in the shape. Or maybe not. This one seems to be a little more rounded at the top. The um, clips are a little wider on this. The clips are a little different, as you can see, but the fronts, I mean, the fronts are very similar. Does this have a name? This does have a name. Again, I'll let you know what it says in the editing, but we have those. I'll check these. These are no brand, so I'll put them off. And we have these. These are cute. And... Are these the 1928? <laughs> I can't get this one off. Oh my goodness. I need to get one off. And I don't know. They don't want to stay open. There we go. Okay, see the, the scroll work on the back of the earring or the engraving? Is that the 1928? Looks like it, but not sure. Do they use the actual flower? I could try to check it. Again, I'll let you know. And these, these are cute. These are like that, uh, that I say waffle cut, but it's like, uh, what do they call this? Like the quilted, the quilted look. Nice, don't see any names, but good condition. And that one's stuck on my finger. <laughs> okay, got that. And these are in great shape also. Oh my goodness, come on, come on out of there. I am, I'm stuck. Anyway, these are in good condition. I don't see a name. I don't see a name on these, but I'll check them better later. So, but they're in, they're in pretty good shape. And these, of course, these are just costume rhinestone. 
one of my favorite, if not my favorite, cut of stone, the emerald cut. <laughs> yeah, I would wear a ring like that. Actually, I do have a blue topaz in a 19 karat emerald cut. I'll have to wear that again someday. These, I think, are plastic. And they're done in gold tone. Yeah. This is silver, but this is gold. Hmm. I was about to say, this, you know, this, even the gray, I think would be more suitable with the silver, but maybe somebody had to replace them. And gold is all they had. So, it's on the back of the ear. Figure nobody sees it. So, these are just a plastic front. I guess this is the gold part. The gold tone is... Oh, it's like a confetti bead. So it's probably, you know, the confetti or the pieces and then the resin pour. That's interesting. Got those. And we have a pair of just black button style clip-ons. No names that I can see. And then we have another pair of gold tone somewhere. A wide hoop. And then we have these. I don't see a name, but they have both um, the smooth gold tone and uh, like a textured, a textured section. Oh, that's a little dirty or worn. Again, I try to clean them up. And we have these, but here, um, just very lightweight, a lot of wear, dangle earrings. And we have these. These are very pretty. I don't think there's any name on these. But uh, still pretty. Done in silver tone. And these. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come out. Yep. <laughs> Remember I found this and I said, wait a minute, I saw something with this. You can see the glue on that, so it's not the best made, but it is a pretty look. I like the Greek key, and I know I've said that. I'm like a broken record. Hey, you like what you like, right? But these are cute, and we'll have to glue that one in so, so it will stay. And Maybe I can get the other one out and clean it up too. Get rid of some of that glue. But anyway, well, let me get some more on the mat. So, okay, I have out on the mat the post style earrings, but I did also find some more clip ons. So, I'm going to go through them real quick. These are this type with like the chandelier style with the small clips. And then we have these, these cascading, I guess, leaf type but similar style with the, the backing. And we have a pair of those. So, uh, um, this looks like it's, oh, it's upside down, that's why. It's because it looks like it's missing something. No, it's all there. So, anyway, we got those. And we have two pair of these in slightly different colors. It's um, a little pair of sunglasses. One's a deeper pink. This is more of a coral. But we have two pair of those. And we have, again, with this similar style with just the simple... What was I on camera? I hope you saw those um, sunglasses. A very simple design. And we've got a pair. And these are kind of... Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of twisted. I thought maybe this one was broken, but they're both like that, so my guess is that's the design. I'm just trying to clip them together. Alrighty, and then we have these, another very similar clip style with the chandelier. So I'll put those together. Now, let's get back, or let's get to the, the post. There are a lot. 
go I'm going to go very quickly we've got these and a star we've got a smaller star just simple post I drop that one and then we have uh, little triangles and we also had little hearts so they're just the silver tone small earrings and then we have these this is like a triangle but that's the three I don't know if you call them balls beads creating the triangle look and then we have these rhinestone kind of like that marcasite look a deep gray and then we have we have black we have pink rhinestones where do I go from here? These are cute. We have a light purple and a light green. So very spring Easter colors. That's what I think of. And then we have these. They are have an enamel look. You know, they're painted top. I don't even know. Kind of like a peachy color. And then we have these triangle rhinestones and then we have the ball studs we have two pair they look they look the same size those two pairs but one pair is worn a little more than the other ones then we have a step up with this size well, we've got two sizes like that don't we no these are maybe a little bit bigger so we have this size and then we have and these are in good shape so I guess they didn't wear, wear the bigger ones. Got those. So those are all. And we have these. Again, that kind of a pink or peachy color. Probably more pinkish in that. And we have another pair of rhinestones. Can you hope this is coming, coming through? And then this, we just have like a gold tone bar. And then we have these, the yellow center, five points there. We have these, which I'm going to check. I don't, well, let me see. Nah, I'm not going to check. They have a pull, so they're not. But they are cute, very cute. They look like a very, like a, either an aquamarine marine or um, light blue topaz. These are dirty, but these look like an aquamarine, and they look good for gold. So I'm going to put these off to the side. I'm going to check them. I'll let you know. I'll let you know in the editing. They, they do look good for a precious metal. Oh, where do we go? Oh, let's get rid of the real small ones. And we have these. They're just all gold tone. These are all post that I'm showing you. And then we have these, very whimsical earrings with the purple stars <laughs> these are pretty these are very pretty um, I, I am pretty sure they say Roman so I'm not going to check those but they are definitely pretty very nice and then we have these these are not sticking oh when I do see a mark so Oh, I'll check these and let you know if they're sterling in the editing. <laughs> and these, these are very, very pretty. Just costume, but pretty blue stone. What is that deep one? Is the deep one the London blue topaz? I know. The, the different colors have different names, but they are pretty, very pretty. And these are cute. The cloisonne, cloisonne style fish earrings. Cute. Uh, let's see. We have got these little purple drops. Hmm. Silver. Silver tone on the front and they got uh, gold tone backs on them. Oh well. Now these are pretty. I don't know that I would wear these because of the length. But they're green and they are pretty. Kind of like that faux druzy with the bars and flowers very cute and these are cute <laughs> oh 
my sister-in-law would have liked these. Does it say Disney? I don't know what it says. But, no, Warner Brothers is, is, I don't know. I'll check. I don't know who Tweety Bird, I don't remember what Tweety Bird was associated with. Okay, now these, I don't remember if we found this piece. I'll look. I'll check. But aren't they pretty? These blue stones. I mean, even if we don't find this piece, we can take this off and wear this with another drop. We can put another drop on those, like, real easy. <laughs> that is pretty. They are, and they're good in good shape. I think maybe they just got rid of them because this piece fell out. Yeah. So, we'll check on those, see if I can find that other piece. These are cute. A little southwestern look. That stone's a little off center, but uh, are they? Well, they could be copper. They're not sticking. Very nice. I like those. And then we have these. These are cute. Whoa! No, not sterling. <laughs> I thought they they were a little off color. I thought maybe they're tarnished. Um, but cute. A little moon and stars and hearts and a crescent moon. Purple and teal. Very pretty. Those are pretty. And these, we found a necklace that had a drop like this, and they were missing, I think, two of the three. It was, not they. These are they. Um, two of the rhinestones were missing. But we have this to go with it. So that's cute. Uh, these. These are pretty. Again, I think just costume. I think just costume. Oh, maybe I should check these too. But it looks like someone has bent this down maybe to, um, they make those backs that you can convert into um, clip-ons. But very pretty. Very pretty. Nice touch of red on there. So I might check those as well. And we have some faux druzy in a square. Pink. I don't know what stone that is supposed to represent. But these are pretty. Very colorful heart. Oh, different backs. Rhinestone hearts. Very cute. And here we have pearl. With, again, two different backs. But, you know, this has a name. I'm going to see what that says. Not even sure, though, it goes with the, the pearl. Rhinestone and your pearl. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want that sticking in the back of my ear. And I don't think I'd want it to wear it in the front. So, I don't know. But there's something for everyone. And these don't have backs. But they sure are pretty in the front. Uh, looks like all the rhinestones are there. It's a pretty flower earrings. And these are pretty too. I like these. It's like a J hook. J loop. Oh, it has a name. It has some writing on there, so I'll have to check that too. But um, little rhinestones. Very cute. Very cute. I like those. And then we have these, which have a very good look. And it does have a mark. And I don't even have to wait until the editing because I can see it. I hope you can. These are 925. Yeah. And then they have some other... Oh, Thailand. I think this says Thailand. So very nice. Add that to the pile of sterling. And we found a lot of sterling in this jar. At least I thought it was a lot, you know. I find two pieces, three pieces, that's a lot to me. <laughs> because, you know, you really don't expect to find precious metals in these jars, but they are beautiful. I like those. So those will go with my collection. And then we have these. They look like the, um, they call a monkey fist, I believe. It's a knot. Again, a knot, you know, not N-O-T, but K-N-O-T. And... Okay, well, that has a spring in it, but nope, not sterling. They are sticking, but still cute. 
one's a little dirty, so we'll clean those up. Oh, well, that wasn't um, a post, but got those. And uh, we have some hoops here. Well, yeah, let's do these hoops. Um, just a uh, simple, in good shape though. Split in the center. These are the hoops. Put those there. And we have these elongated silver tone hoops. And we have these gold tone hoops. It's always a nice look. But they don't stick, but I don't see any markings on there. And then we have these gold tone. These do have a lot of wear. So much so that sections look silver. And then we have these hoops, which are very worn, or I'll check these, see if they have a mark. But we have those. And I need more earrings. Let me get some more in the mat. Okay, I have some more post earrings that we'll go through real quick. Uh, we have these in good shape, very shiny. <laughs> Looks like that disco ball, doesn't it? And we have these. Looks like a sunflower. Oh, it says white stag. They used to sell white stag at Walmart. I don't know if they still do. I don't know if it's a Walmart brand or just a brand that sells at Walmart. But anyway, and they need some cleaning. And these are so cute. I'm, I'm guessing that these are artisan made. But there's, there's two lefts and two rights, or two rights. There's, these should have been flip-flopped. But anyway, they're cute. And these, my goodness. These sparkle. <laughs> it's like glitter bows. It's, or, you know, bows, ribbons. And they are three-dimensional. Now that's an earring. And these are so cute. I, I thought these were supposed to be like a bow, but I don't know. But they're pink. Cute. And now these two are bows. Like the gold bows and the green bows. Similar, but not exact. So those are very cute. Now we have some fish hook or earrings with fish hooks. We've got these with the wire dangles, wire drops, and we have these. A lot of wear. Boy, this design has been around forever, since the 50s at least. And we have these. I think these pieces are ceramic. those and we have these needs new hooks but they're just acrylic still cute if you didn't like them like this you could always use these components for something they're good in bead weaving for bead weaving projects and these little shell pieces with the silver tone I'm assuming they're not sticking, but, oh, maybe not. Okay, got those, and these are cute. Again, with a little touch of red, gunmetal gray, and these. These are simple. I like this style of earrings. They're a good um, grab-and-go is what I call, you know, when you want just something, but it doesn't have to be anything in particular, just simple little earring. And you're good. And these, these are plastic hearts wire wrapped. And got these, these are cute. Two tone. I would probably change out the ear wires on these. Or not, I don't know. Depends on how they look on. They remind me of um, some of the Premier Design pieces that have the two tone. Don't see any marks though. They're cute. And these, these, I don't know, do they, oh, oh, wow, okay, so 
There you go. Oh, you you could change these out. And there's other ones where I said the the I'd wear the pearl but not the crystal. This one. If you could change it out. Oh, one's gold, one's silver, and they really don't they don't fit in right. So, never mind. But anyway, so I'll put those in with the post. And put these back together. Did I just do that right? Yeah. Alrighty. And then we have these. Which, okay, nope, Did it? oh, they do, they make noise, so they're, they're, I don't know if you can hear that, it's very, very light, very, very subtle, but that is a bell, that is, okay, spending too much time on these, and these, very simple little, drops and we have these these cluster earrings and we've got these oh they have a name don't know what the name is I'll let you know in the editing but these are pretty very pretty did I, I didn't show these or did I show these already I'll go through them real quick. I don't remember if I showed them. Big reds. <laughs> oh, big red hoops. Simple gold tone hoops. I thought I put all the earrings off to the side, but I guess I remember seeing them, so I don't remember if I showed them. But here we've got these, and we've got these. Like, again, a cluster style. And these hoops. And these hoops, these are pretty, in decent shape, a little bit of wear. And then we have these. My apologies if I showed these already, but, uh, hmm, I have a pair similar to these in Sterling. And I don't remember if it was late 80s, early 90s that I bought them. That, that was the style. Well, they're not sticking. I'll check. And we have these. This is cute, except for this. I don't like this, but I, I like this. Cute. I like those. I like those a lot. Um, and we have these. I like the lever back. I don't see a name on these, but these are cute. That's a, like a bluish purple. I like those, okay. And we have these. <laughs> that I can't hold on to. Very lightweight. I guess that would be considered die cast. And we have these. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess I guess because I've seen them, they all look familiar. My apologies if I showed them before. These are Napier. Did I show you these? These are Napier. Okay, well, and these are beaded hoops. Needs a little cleaning, but still in good shape. Uh, oh, these are probably CZ. Could be, could be set in sterling. Nice look. Can you, am I going too fast? I mean, I, I hope you all can see them, but there they are. Um, got these. Don't see a name. I think they're just costume. They're very pretty, though. And these. I like these. It has a V on it. Ah, oh, I don't know. Who uses just a V? I like these. Kind of like a, well, it is a grayish, but it also has, I don't know, I was going to say like a greenish gray. And we have these. These are in good shape. And then we have these hoops. These are in good shape, and they have some marks on it. It may or may not be sterling. I'll let you know. And then we have these. Again, very tarnished or very worn. 
may or may not be silver. But again, I'll let you know on those. Okay, now this is the last of them. We have just some singles. These are all single pieces. This is cute. This is very cute. This, another red, but not the same. Um, red. I wish we had found the other one of these. This is uh, very pretty. And these are similar. I don't know. We could fix that. And then here's a single, single hoop. This single rhinestone. Oops. Another pink rhinestone or CZ. Um, oh, wait a minute. These are a pair. So we did have one pair there. Um, some pearls. This one. I'm going to have to look closer at that one. It looks like maybe this is a CZ. It's got a mark on it. I'll check that one too. This one, you know, I. it just looks good. So I'm going to take a quick look. Oh, it looks like it might be missing something there. Alrighty, well, we've got this one. And it could be marks or it could be... I mean, it could just be tool marks, or it could be metal marks. But anyway, this this looks good. I'm going to check it. Uh, I think we just have one of those. One, one. Oh, that's cute. Just just one of those, and some parts. Okay, these are all parts, singles, I should say. But it's a pretty stone, and a couple beads. So. That is it. Finally, after six videos, we can put this one to bed. <laughs> oh my goodness, that means um, we end the year with this jar. We finish up and then next year, or next video, will be a new year and a new jar. So, we get to start all over again. Yay! <laughs> Alrighty, well... I just want to thank everyone that has stuck with me throughout this year. I'm glad you all like the jewelry as much as I do. I appreciate each and every one of you, all that have subscribed, even those that don't subscribe, if you watch. That's special. That means a lot to me. You know, I would like you to subscribe. You might consider doing that. But if you don't, I'm just glad you stopped by from time to time. Thank you all. It's been another good year of Jewelry Jara finds and hunting for treasure. I guess next year we'll do some more for as long as we can and maybe change it up a little bit too. As always, until next week in that next video, you all take care and happy new year everyone. Be safe, be happy, and enjoy. So till the next time, bye-bye.